this terrible, terrible fire occurred, devastating to all of us, bringing enormous sadness to all of us who worshipped here in the, the church, but to the whole community. And now it falls to us to rebuild this beautiful building. And it falls to us to make this church live again. Over the next 70, 70, 80 weeks, we've been on an awful lot of community projects and we want to link into the people within the community. And we hope that you'll support us during the course of that. Uh, we're here on, on, on day one after the fire to support them. And the first message is to say, this will be rebuilt. We, we've done it before. We'll help you get a team together so it will be rebuilt. So that's the key message on day one, to give them that reassurance. Because everybody's looking at it thinking there's no way it can happen, whereas we know it will. We're um, obviously reinstating the roof that was lost in the fire. Um, we'll be replacing all of the windows, the doors. There's a lot of structural repairs that are needed to the columns, masonry and stone repairs. The lead will be going back on. Basically, the external works are a like-for-like -like replacement, so it'll look exactly how it was pre-fire. It's an opportunity for us to show to this church and the wider community what we can do in helping them get the church back on its feet again. The way that the, the church is situated within the local community, um, it's, it's obviously got a massive community presence and I think that's it's something to be proud of that we can restore it for the community and for the, the local parish. It's where people's roots are and uh, if, if, we if we lose our roots then all sorts of other things go wrong. If you, if you take away the churches then uh, the community starts to go. It's really vital. There's no point in having a building without the people. The church is really the people rather than the building. So we've got to allow that to continue. 